Hello, sweet peeps. How are you guys doing today? Hello, daddy. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks, Sam. How are you? And um, I'm good. The day was beautiful. Yes. The, today was a beautiful day, and so I've been enjoying it. Um, and I'm glad to be back here with you all. Good to see everyone again. And um, I'm excited for these new words that you are teaching all of us. Go ahead. So. Yes. Okay. Eh? Let's let's go on. Let's uh, help students to learn. 100, you, you already started, yeah? It's a lot of uh, adjectives, so. And today, it uh, was supposed to be two classes, but today is the third class because uh, it's a really long uh, video. And the first, it was one hour and 15 minutes, the second, 39 minutes, and uh, today, uh, is the third one, so, yes, so, today, so, you're learning to, uh, uh, you learn 100 adv advanced adjectives to, uh, to add in your knowledge, yes, so, let's get started, let's talk about sentence structure at first, commonly, you, Use uh, to be plus adjective. And the example here, Janice is nice. Of course, you need to conjugate your verb according to the subject. Uh, the, the example here, second one, I am nice. Another common structure is to use adjective plus noun. Example here. I met a nice person. Notice, so the adjective comes directly before the noun. So it's article, adjective, noun. I met a nice person. So pay attention to the sentence structure. I will also teach you more advanced sentences, structures in the different examples that we've seen now. Then let's get started with our third class. And uh, we started from A and uh, is all the way to Z. Yes, let's start. You can read that. Okay. Yes, uh, so out of this world that's a good one out of this world so like you would use that one and coming when you're we, we used to use it as like uh when something was really cool or um mind-blowing we would say wow this ice cream is out of this world or wow your hair it's out of this world so something, that's how we use it, you know, just something neat and uh, like it says, superb or extraordinary. So go ahead, Saul. Yes, amazing examples, yes. So out of this word, yes, is that? Superb, extraordinary. And the example, your design skills are out of this word. And the next word. Out. Next Going. Yes, out going. So yeah. Um someone that's outgoing is someone that likes to go out and do things or go hiking or go do uh fun things out in the, the wilderness or in the city or just someone and you consider them outgoing or um kind of like outspoken i guess that's not the same is it so outgoing yeah energetic and someone that likes to do things outside go ahead stop yes yeah, so to go yes uh is someone 
who is friendly and energetic, easy, enjoyable being with others. Yes, this person finds it easy, enjoyable to uh, uh, be with other people. Now that I'm confident with my English, I'm more outgoing at work. This is something that a lot of students want to have. So definitely improve your English so you can be more outgoing. Mm, the next word, Teddy. Pensive. Yes, quiet. Uh, someone that's to themselves at the time, they could be quiet or, uh, like it says, uh, thinking seriously, where someone's in their mind um, and they're being very pensive. They're, they're studying in their head, um, thinking about what they are either doing or getting ready to do or for school, uh, work, or whatever. So, pensive. Pensive, yeah, quiet, thinking to themselves. Go ahead, Saw. Yes, great. Uh -huh. Amazing examples. Yes, pensive, when someone is pensive, it means they are thinking it, and they're usually quiet. They're thinking very seriously. They're pensive. Julie was very pensive during our presentation. Which means she was quiet, yes, during the presentation. And she was just thinking. And let's go ahead. Proactive. Someone that's about being active. Um, they're all about it. They're, they're taking responsibility and going and doing things about what they uh are thought about kind of like what of you were to come up with ideas and um so they're more proactive it's hard for me to explain that one taking action and making changes she says there rather than reacting to things or as they happen so go ahead Sarah. yes amazing so this next word then proactive. This means that you take action to change something rather than waiting for the situation to happen and then simply react to the situation. One of my best qualities is that I'm very proactive. And Next word, Betty. Pers um, perceptive. Like, you're very perceptive when you notice things um, or see things that not a lot of other people can. You, you pay attention to detail. Uh, you can see deeper into, like, uh, let's see, what do you got here? Good at noticing things that others don't. Yeah. So, yeah, your perceptive is really enhanced. You can see things not a lot of people see. So, go ahead, Saul. Yes, yeah, so good. You you already explained everything about perceptive. Yes, good. this means uh, that you're very good at noticing details and information that other people may not uh, notice. We really appreciate your perceptive comments. Yes, people, we really appreciate your comments here. Mm -hmm. So we can provide information that nobody else thought of. So you're, if you're very per perceptive, we really appreciate your perceptive comments. Yeah? Into the next word. Yeah. And be persistent. <laughs> Yes, persistent, persistent. Something um, you continue we need to be persistent in our channel. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> we've we've had to go through some stuff, though. That's what was going on. So, anyways, uh, yeah, persistent. So, 
someone that is late a lot to work, they're pretty persistent on being late. So we can count on that. No, just kidding. Persistent. Um, if you are repetitive at doing something, you're pretty persistent. Um, so yeah, go ahead, Saw. Yes, great. So persistent, eh? continue doing something and at the term to wait, even when facing difficult example, when I'm solving a problem, I'm very persistent, 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 eh? Persistent, you said it perfectly. Great, and uh, the next one. Punctual, very punctual. Someone that's actually pretty smart, uh, we, we consider them punctual. Um, uh, arriving or doing something at the scheduled time, not late, you're very punctual. I am usually around 50% punctual and 50% not so much. No. No, I'm actually pretty good at showing up and being punctual. Um, yeah, go ahead, Saw. Yes, good. So the punctual, so arriving or doing something at the scheduled time, not late. Example, thankfully, the contractors are very punctual. Punctual, yes. Punctual. Yeah, that's a cool word. Punctual. Qualified. Qualified. Yeah. Are you qualified to run that shovel? <laughs> you, so qualified is something that you usually have to take a class for or um, study for, learn about before you can actually do a skill or do something. So yeah, you got to get qualified to do electricity in your house. So yeah, qualified. Go ahead, Saw. So. Yes, sir. Qualified. Yeah. It, it, this is when someone have the skill, knowledge, or ability to do something specific. As example, Ronnie is the most qualified accountant I know. And the next today riveting reviting uh rev yeah reviting reviting we just riveting? went over this. riveting yeah we just went over that sometimes i get my tongue twisted as well <laughs> even on our own words because some of them are weird riveting yeah Do we watch so often yeah we just went over that one. extremely interesting yeah you're an interesting person so I, I'm, I'd say you're very riveting. Yeah, I think we used to say riot, riveting. No, it's riveting. I'm gonna confuse you, Saw. Go ahead. Yeah, so riveting is when, uh, or this means better, Extremely interesting. The speakers at the conference were riveting. Yes, let's the, move. The thing is with some of our words is because when you have an E at the end of something or sometimes you would, because you want to say the I, pronounce the I more with the E. So you would want to say riveting. You're so riveting, but it's riveting. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that's, the I is pronounced because of the H, I'd say, so. Um, so anyways, all right. Renowned. You're so renowned. It's, uh, I would say, uh, renowned is where you, something's enhanced or so you're renowned as in, I don't know. Uh, that one's a hard one for me to describe. Like, uh, go ahead, Saw. Let's say famous for something specific is what she's got. I know the name, so go ahead. Yes, renowned is when someone is famous for something specific. Maya Angelo is a renowned poet, so she's famous. But for something specific, 
poetry. Uh, she is a renowned poet. And to the next. Some of these words are tough because uh, we don't use very often. That one it is actually used a bit, but not in my. Yes, yes, advanced adjectives. Yeah, my line of work we don't use a lot of these, so so you're no. very rich today, saw. So. Very ravishing. So yeah, something that's beautiful, that stands out. You could say this view is ravishing. Go ahead, Saw. So. Yes, yeah, so great uh, ravishing. This means extremely beautiful. You look ravishing in that dress. Uh, or if you if you're a male, you look ravishing in that uh, blue suit. <laughs> yes, good job. That was good. Reverent, which is a strong word. It's a strong word. It seems like showing great respect and admiration. Yes, there was a movie called The Reverent. Um, oh. That's yeah, it's a very good movie. Um, oh, yes. Very yeah, good. showing someone, so you say reverent, someone that has the ability to show you respect and the admiration. I want all my crew to be reverent. Go ahead, Saw. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. So reverent. Yeah. This is showing great respect and ad ad admiration the reverent crowd because I uh, became actually silent when she appeared on stage. So to show their respect and admiration, the crowd uh, became silent. So we can say they are re reverent crowd. And now the next, Daddy. Oh, self reliant. Someone is, uh, that could go and live on their own and be self reliant. Uh, they could live off, uh, they don't need help. Um, yeah, someone that can support their own, fend for themselves. Yes, self reliant. I am self-reliant. Go ahead, Sa. Mm -hmm. Yes, self-reliant. Yes, so uh, self-reliant, this means that you rely on your own skills and abilities. When you work remotely, you need to be self-reliant. Next. Yeah, I lost my page. Hold on. I, don't, I didn't even touch it. Yo, no, did you? The ball. Yeah. Um, something happened here. Saving or having or using good judgment. Sensible. You're very sensible about your work, your abilities at work. Um, sensible. Saw, you're very sensible around the house here and with the children. You're very sensible. Go ahead, Saul. Yes, good. <laughs> so, yes, for sure. At sensible, this means having and using good judgment. I like working with Hamid. He's very sensible. Next word. Savvy. Savvy. That's something we would hear on um, the Pirates of the Caribbean. Savvy. Having practical knowledge and ability, she says. Um, yeah, so someone that's uh, knowledgeable what they do for work or for like a driver, a bus driver or a truck driver would be savvy at what they do um, a ship, someone that can handle a ship. So, yeah, savvy. 
that's that's yeah you don't hear that much either anymore so go ahead so oh yes oh, okay so savvy this means you have uh, practical knowledge and skills she is very savvy when it comes to marketing and i'm sure you're familiar with the term tech savvy which means you're very good you're very skilled and knowledgeable when it comes to technology tech savvy i'm very tech savvy what about you are you tech savvy put that in the comment i'm tech savvy i'm not tech savvy huh? if it's the case uh, right. you that? supportive you're very supportive um someone that likes to help people that are or you're struggling with something and someone comes up and helps you out through your struggles, they're being very supportive. Um, someone that, uh, if, you're, if you're down and out and they come and they talk you through it, you're supportive. That person's being supportive. So yeah, um, giving encouragement and approval. Yeah, that's good. Go ahead, stop. Yes, yeah, supporting, this is giving encouragement and approval. As a teacher, I try to be supportive of all my students. For sure, it's important. And I, it's what I, I do. <laughs> and don't, get a, don't get confused with supportive and supporting. Supporting is, you can be supporting, but you can also be supporting, like supporting your children because they can't grow up <laughs> you gotta support your children still they're 40 5 40 80 <laughs> oh <kidding>. yeah <laughs> all right sincere sincere um when you're very sincere about something you're being honest you're being you're telling you're telling someone a story and you're sincere about it you can tell it's true um, because you can see it when they're saying uh, their story, they're sincere about it. We, uh, at the end of our letter, we like to write down sincerely, so and so. Um, so yes, yeah, sincere. You could tell when someone's sincere or they're not. So you could tell when they're honest or fake, false. Go ahead, saw. Yes, amazing. So sincere, yes, this means honest, not false or and not invented. Her apology was sincere. So she said, I'm sorry. And she said it in an honest way, not I'm sorry, where clearly she is not actually sorry. I'm sorry, her apology was sincere. Yes, and the next word. Yes. Um, straightforward, straight forward. So yeah, someone that uh, straightforward, they tell you how it is. They don't beat around the bush about something. So if you are, messing up at work and your boss comes up to you and tells you exactly what you're doing wrong or right they're straightforward to you being honest and frank yeah so yeah straightforward um go ahead stop yes great amazing examples as always in all adjectives you you contribute a lot so straightforward uh, it should be honest and frank. So I love how a straight word surely is. And the next word. Uh, sage. Is that sage? Wise because of experience that comes with age. Sage. 
That's right, right, Sage. Yes, uh -huh. Sage. Yeah, we, I don't think we I've ever even heard that word other than a bush. We have a bush called a sage bush, sage brush, sage. It's a cool word, actually. Um, it's a new one for yes, me. So you adject, uh, so uh, advanced adjective is not so we use all the time. Some some of those, uh, some yes, no. Yes, correct, correct. So I mean, I'm here learning with you guys as well. Um, it's actually, I'm going to use some of these words now that I know a little more about them. So yeah, sage, uh, why is it because of experience that comes with age? So I am becoming more sage as I grow, with especially with work and home life. So, and the wife. <laughs> Go ahead, Saw. Yes. So great this word sage, adjective sage. This means wise and we use it specifically with people who are wise because they're old. So and with their old age, they they gain wisdom. They're very sage. The consultant has 20 years of experience so we can trust his sage advice next steadfast yeah see um i'm gonna say what she's got wrote down staying the same for a long time uh not changing or losing purpose i see steadfast being steadfast is uh being persistent is the basically the same almost you're, you're continuing to do what you do. Like if uh, at work, if you're continuing to stay on top of everything and um, keeping up on your work, being steadfast. So go ahead, Sop. Yes, great. So it is steadfast. This means staying the same for a long time, not changing, not losing purpose. Jose is a steadfast assistant. Next. Pinacuous. This one's um, a good word. That's a strong, powerful word too. Tenacuous. Tenacuous. Someone that's unwilling to accept defeat or stop doing like the team, the football team was tenacious, so they stepped up and they made a strong comeback because they did not want to be defeated. The um, or you're you being at work and you're having a struggle with what you're working on, but you will not give up, so you're being tenacious. Go ahead, Saul. Yes, so great tenacious is when you are unwilling to accept the feat or unwilling to stop doing or having something. Felicity is a tenacious student. Next one. Thrilling. My uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, your brother's yeah. name. Thrilling. So like um like if you like to go to a amusement park and you could be like it's very thrilling because you are a thrilling person you seek thrill um you can be a thrilling person or look at something and or go places that are thrilling something that's yeah she says very exciting something exciting or um like i like to go boating and because it's thrilling to me it's very thrilling to me so go ahead, stop. Yes, great. So amazing your examples, Daddy. Hmm. So truly, thrilling. This means very exciting. Fabio's plan uh, for the company is thrilling. Next. Tinder. Um, we actually have a dating site that is called Tinder, but no. Anyways. So someone that's very tender is they're gentle, they're kind, they're they're loving, they're um 
like when you have a child, a baby, and you're holding them, you're being very tender to that child. Um, you're so yeah, tender. Go ahead, Sa. Yes, tender. This means uh, gentle, loving, or kind. It's important to be tender when you're delivering bad news. And now, next word. Tactful. I like tactful. That one's a good word. So, yeah. careful not to do, say, anything that could... Why sometimes. do you like tactful? Um, because, well, that's a, something we use, like, um, when you are in the, in the service, people are tactful because they're, they're really quiet. They're, 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 it's hard to explain as in like they're, because uh -huh. the way you got it set up in there is completely different than the way I was thinking of it. Careful not to do, say anything that could upset someone, but as in like the Marines are tactful there so i might be saying that wrong i don't know but um yeah they're they're just careful they're very uh quiet and careful so i guess that's why it is because they don't want to disturb um anybody while they're doing their mission you know because as you would say it on there, careful not to do, say anything that could upset someone. So they're trying not to, um, they're trying not to cause commotion. So they're trying to get in and get out without anyone noticing them. So they're being tactful. Tactful. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, yeah, go ahead, Saul. Yes, great. Good examples, yes, tactful. This means uh, when you're careful not to do say anything that could upset someone. You serve quit in a tactful way. Next. Um, upbeat. Yeah, upbeat. Yeah, so someone that's, yeah, you got as positive, someone that's, uh, keeps the everyone happy or keeps themselves happy. They're always energized. They're just, they're always stoked for the day, you know, stoked. That's a good one. Anyways. Yeah. They're, they, they seem like they're always just walking to the beat of their own drum. So yeah. Upbeat. Someone that's thrilling always to be around. Go ahead. Soft. Yes, a bit great. So, this means positive and with hope for the future. Mary is very upbeat about the proposal. Next. Unreliant, uh, relenting, unrelenting. Oh, wow, I haven't used this word in a minute either. So, so oh, yes. un, yeah, unrelenting. Extremely determined, never weakening or ending. Oh, wow. I like how you put it in there. So I'm unrelenting when I work on my projects that I am trying to, uh, to build out of my mind. So I'm determined to get these perfectly um, complete. So I'm very extremely unrelenting on my own ideas and at work too. So being unrelenting is being determined extremely. Go ahead, Saw. Oh, yes, for sure. Great. Yes, unrelenting. This means extremely determined, never weakening or ending. I appreciate my parents' unrelenting support. Their support never weakens. It means never ends. It's unrelenting. Next word. Yeah, when you get That's sometimes you get an argument with your wife, and they'll say you're unrelenting because you just won't give up. 
you don't stop. So sometimes you need to be one of those relenting people that just give up, just let them have that that time. So anyways. Oh, yes. It's a uh, important to word to be it. Yes, yeah. it is. To know, yeah, because you will hear that one. So versatile. This is a good one. I like versatile. I'm very versatile at work because I can run many different machines. Um, I'm actually the most versatile guy at our in our company. Um, I can do all, almost all we have at work, except for the office stuff. So I'm versatile. Go ahead. So. Yes, I say versatile. Versatile. Yeah, some say versatile, some say versatile. Uh -huh. See, versatile. Yes. That, so you are speaking slang kind of. is. It's uh -huh. like organ, organ. I say organ. Everyone else around us says organ. For uh -huh. our state. Yeah. Yes, as in Brazil, we have different accents in different yeah. states. Yeah? South, north of Brazil. So versatile is when you're able to easily change from one activity to another, uh, able to be used for many different purposes. Brad Pitt is a versatile actor. So he's one actor, but you can use him in many different ways. Romance, comedy, action, drama, He's a versatile actor. And the next. You picked one of the ones that is not as versatile as some others. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was funny. But a lot of people think he's a good looking man. Vibrant. This is yes. a very nice word. You're so vibrant today, Saw. It's like when someone is glowing, they're vibrant. Um, just a, it's a good word. Yeah, it's an uplifting word. When you say to someone, you're vibrant. It's a, they have a good smile on their face. They're glowing. They're just standing out. And it says energetic, exciting, full of enthusiasm. I love it. Vibrant. Go ahead. So. Great. Thank you. You are also vibrant. Yeah? This means to be ener energetic, exciting, full of enthusiasm. I love how vibrant my work environment is. Next one. Oh, witty. This one a lot of people can do and some can't. Someone that can be witty is um, like a, someone says a joke to you and you can come back with something really quick and funny on that one. Uh, you're witty. Someone that could just pop off with something, uh, a comeback of some sort. You're witty. Or uh, you could think of something um, in a positive way um, in a bad situation really quick. You could be witty. Or, yeah, so yeah, she says funny in an intelligent way. So, yes, go ahead, Sal. Go great, Chess. A good example. So when someone is witty, it means they're funny, but in a very intelligent way. My pilot was very witty. Next. Youthful. Ah, see, this is another good one for Saw. You're very youthful. You <laughs> have the skin of someone that is young. Or you have that look and that vibrant look that makes you youthful. So yeah, someone that continues to act yeah, younger thinking. and feel mm -hmm. younger than most people are at ages that as they get older. So yeah, go ahead, stop. Yes, youthful. Yes, this means having qualities that are cheap of young people. Her youthful enthusiasm makes coming to work 
more enjoyable. So maybe she isn't youthful. Maybe she is 50 or 60 years old, but her enthusiasm, her energy is youthful, which is a really positive thing. So it's more enjoyable coming to work. Next, and oh, the last one. <laughs> it's the last one. There's only one Z word, huh? In this whole line of lists. So zealous. So zealous. Enthusiastic and eager. We are zealous to start this next class. We're zealous. We're ex excited. We're eager. Yes. To see you guys again tomorrow. So, yes. Yeah, zealous. Go ahead, stop. Mm-hmm. Great, eh? great examples in all adjectives. So zealous. Eh? This means enthusiastic and eager. I appreciate how zealous she is. So you are doing such a good job and congratulations. Yes, Daddy. Yes. Because there's a lot of adjectives. Eh? So you're doing so awesome. And now, let's go ahead in the next class. That was great to having everybody. And um, I hope you guys pick these words up because I did learn some myself. So you're not alone here. Um, it's a good thing we have Saw, the smart one here, teaching us all. She's a good teacher. So I hope you guys had a good class and we will see you tomorrow thank you for coming and don't forget to subscribe and like she said comment or post something and give us some ideas um that you guys want to learn about so all right have a good evening goodbye thanks that i really appreciate and you're amazing because you create situations and examples and your explanations uh are so good you just uh, take a look and uh, in minutes, two minutes, one minute <laughs> before the class and uh, you really share good examples and uh, clarify for the students and uh, even for me a lot about uh, all knowledge set in English language. So, yeah, I'm trying to be I'm trying to be as real as I can. So when I come on to these with saw, I don't study for them. So I just come up with what I got in my head at this moment. So sometimes they catch me off guard and it's hard to be witty on this part. I like to be witty, so I'm trying my hardest. So thank you for uh, putting up with me, saw and all you. Go ahead. Oh, yes, you're amazing. I really appreciate everyday company, everyday that is company. <laughs> so, yes, uh, in the next class, I will say already, uh, we'll talk about uh, idioms. Yes, yeah? so see you guys in the next day and Thanks for everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye. Kisses. Bye. -bye. Kisses. Bye, -bye.